Hello guys, welcome to Ginger by Amlogs. Today we are going to see how we can configure a business book. So let's get started. So we have opened our application Ginger. Here we can see this drop down and we have three options open existing solution, download existing solution and create a new solution. So right now we are downloading opening an existing solution which I have already named YouTube so I'm selecting my this folder and closing now you can see we have business flows run set configuration and resources so business flow is basically a area in ginger where all the action items take place so if I uh, show you we are here we have two business flow flow one and test so if I click on flow one you can see it's showing us the description a target my web app details activities and variable and we can configure this as per our requirement so let's suppose you have to create a new business flow name it the flow 2 and now you click ok so you can see this flow 2 has been created with a target application on my web app details and description like this you can edit this as well your target application so it's all default showing my web app now in activities you can see here one activity schedule you can even add more activities from here by clicking next and uh, finish so you can see a new activity is lined up very similarly we can add variables as well for adding the variable we can click this plus icon and we can select the kind of variable let's suppose i want the date variable or variable timer so for variable date i can select this and set that add variable now here you can see this as a save option and this is also a save all option so if you click this this flow 2 will get saved and if you have done any changes on flow 1 or test you can click this and it will save you can search anything and you can automate the things as well and this is the source control option and this is the automate option this is the automate option and if i click this so if i click on this automate you can see a new screen is come up now this new screen is showing us the kind of agents and the working of the agent so we can see here my web agent is there if i click on this power icon it will open up a new page now you can see this power icon is showing in green that means our agent is active in our activity 1 or activity 2 which we have created just now on the back page you can add any action item any action item in terms of automating a page or anything so let's suppose in my activity one uh, i want to add some features like just uh, capture a screen or anything so what i can do i can select a page object model or uh, the different options we have so let's suppose i'm taking a form model and in form model uh, the two google sign in and youtube is already present as we have downloaded this as an existing solution uh, let's suppose we want to add to automate a new mode so i can click on right click on phone models and age uh, add page object learn from live page i can click that we can click next and here you can see it is showing now so if i go back to my chrome which was already used and type it here gmail.com this gmail page has opened up now we can see i come back to my screen and refresh this so you can see on windows it is showing gmail on gmail we can add any item which we want to track so these are all checked now we click next and you can see an input email identifier it means this email option and the next button and a forget button it is capturing everything 
so but next a learn one which is a hyperlink input identifier it is capturing all the elements so you can see the mapped element it's five and map four we can even stop this and we click next so let us wait to stop yeah it is stop now we can click next and we can click on finish so you can see this gmail is already added so if you want some action we can just drag this here and we can add any action let's suppose i want to add uh, a login so here uh, i can give it uh, input value xyz as the read gmail.com and now i can save it and i can run it so you can see the color is green that means it has passed and you can expand this and you can see the execution report is passed and if i go to this page you can see that xyz at the rate gmail.com is already present here and we did not do anything it was totally automatic so this is one of the feature of the business flow it's the same way if i go back you can create any type of flows which you want to create and then click on automate and then you can click everything or you can automate everything which you want so basically the business flow deal with all kind of actions which take place on the ginger we can consider it as are the front page of the ginger so that was all for the configuration of ginger thank you very much